This is Rick's office. <laughs> this is Rick Howard's office. Um, as you can see, he likes a lot of the basketball stuff. Uh huh, Lakers. I think like from some of those other cubicles you've seen out there, like a lot of the artists and a lot of the people in production, and a lot of times when the final stuff gets laid out in here. People come, say yeah. what they think. People can come in here and check it out. Like uh -huh. if you come into Rick's office, you might go like, what do you think of this new series? We're doing this idea. Yeah. People comment on it, see what they like. Yeah. It's pretty cool. There's some interesting stuff Rick has over here. I think this is a skateboard. Uh-huh. Whoa. <laughs> what that is could, that? That could be a skateboard that Mark Gonzalez made for Rick Howard. Whoa. As you know, uh, Brandon Beeble, he's from Sacramento. He got his own jersey out there. Oh, uh, yeah. It's because official. the Maluf brothers, yeah. yeah, they own the Sacramento, right? Yeah. And it's cool. As you can see, like, a lot of the people that work here... You know, it's like really like a family. Like this is probably something from like a picture from the girl anti-hero tour. Uh huh. You know what I mean? And it's something that probably means a lot to Rick. He keeps it in his office. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything's not just for making it for a company to sell yeah. it as a product. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's what people believe in over here, and it's yeah. like the lifestyle they live. Well, these are a couple of trans world awards. Oh. Uh -huh. Couple, and you'll see everyone you know around mm -hmm. here probably has these girl dolls in mm -hmm. one way or another, mm -hmm. done by a certain artist that they like. Really cool. So where are we at <laughs> right now? Jenkins' office. This is OG girl, OG, OG. Come on in. Thank you. An amazing place. Too many things to show, right? You got like yeah, history yeah. here. A little bit of a history. Disaster, yeah. <laughs> Not a disaster, it's a history. It's amazing. <laughs> You keep all the boards or the gravity? No, got, no. no. It's, it would be very hard to do Yeah, it's too hard to keep them all. We tried, to, we tried in the warehouse to keep one of each. Yeah. Uh, so it, it works you have it? I don't know if we're still doing it or not. We, <laughs> you know, I've had like some boards like, you know, with my name on it and I've tried to save them and I can't really do it because it's too much stuff. Like I couldn't imagine <laughs> saving everything that you've done no, to a girl. It's yeah. impossible. Which is a shame, but you know. It's, yeah, but that's the nature of it, skateboarding too. Yeah. You know, graphics gone when you start skating it anyway. So. Yeah. And <laughs> I guess like the fact that you have the catalog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's somewhere there. Way easier. Right? It's, it's in the world. Yeah, around. <laughs> that's true. It's out there. Exactly. Thank you very yeah, much. Cool. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. First I know, I know that girl, like, you know, they get really excited about making those obstacles for the oh, showdown. Okay. I think they take that pretty serious. If they can win the best obstacle, they're pretty psyched on that one. Girls kind of like a museum when you come in here and look at the stuff and you get to see all this old stuff. You know, that's it's everybody. It looks like in Italy right there. Uh -huh. This is a cool day, uh, doing the old man skits. You'll see the ping pong table downstairs. Oh, they, you got like, a, a, lot, a statue the, for that? <laughs> a lot of the guys, uh, they get really serious down there. <laughs> a little memorabilia for Keenan Milton. Uh -huh. Yeah. Great guy, one of the best skateboarders, one of the yeah. best styles. Amazing. Nicest style. guy in the world. There's me and Javante Turner. Uh huh. Funny, he's on a bike. Now he creates bikes. I heard. Does a lot of cool stuff with the bikes. These are the invisible boards that people <laughs> skate in, yeah, right? Uh huh. Rick McCrank, clip side in the rail and stuff like that. <laughs> Key rod. These are some of the first girl graphics right here. Uh -huh. and I think they went off uh, everybody's nationalities mm -hmm. and spelled girl in that nationality. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really like cool. Yeah. Like Chocolate tour. Yeah. I think, like, see, we did the boards, so these ones, um, really before because I was so in it. And then by the time the Chocolate Tour video we came out, they redid it again. Uh -huh. I wasn't around. But I have a board to remember if I. <laughs> some more boards. Well, I had, I had, what is this? I used to skate this board a lot. Uh -huh. Boards were so small back then. Yeah, this is. So I love this graphic right here. Yeah. This is, yeah, now it seems very weird, huh? Like, very this is one of my favorite series, too. Uh, that's amazing. That's the old school chocolate team. I know a few people that did uh, tattoos with the uh, flag logos. Oh, uh, this is the. Ping pong table. <laughs> That's the infinite ping pong table. So this is the warehouse where all the product is. It's actually pretty big. Oh, it is. There's a lot of product. Mostly down this aisle, you'll find like wheels, wax, like little like things, and mm -hmm. shirts on this side. Accessories, right? And then mm -hmm. down here, you'll get like sweaters and shirts again. Mm -hmm. And most of the times too, it'll be like you know chocolate and four star on this side. And Sections. You'll, yeah, you'll get like girl and stuff and. Uh -huh. This would be like pants over here. And this is uh, how the magic happens. Ready? This is how you get stuff to your local skate shop. This is where it comes uh -huh. from. Oh. You know, people place the orders, they check out the orders, pack grab it up all the product, pack mm -hmm. up all these boxes, and they pick them up to go, you know? It's going, yeah. 
this is where like I come, you know, when when the riders need product or whatever, this is where they come to get their bread, you know what I mean? This section from like here on is like mostly girl. Uh -huh. And this section from here on. Oh no, it's still girl. Yeah. yeah. It goes into the chocolate stuff. Uh -huh. A lot of the new oils. Uh -huh. But this is like, you know, like the training facility for like uh -huh. the dudes. A lot of the people that work here skate, so they come in here on the lunch break and skate. This is where when we do the open house with the in and out out back, uh -huh. this is where the contest happens, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think that's a really cool thing for like the kids that like, you know what yeah. I mean? The shops like bring their kids that are like good skaters, they bring them down here, they skate in the contest, they have fun, mm -hmm. they hang out with the pros. Okay, you can tell me now uh, about maybe chocolate video because everybody's waiting for that. And we pretty much started to get the great chocolate video right now, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I think that like most of the videos that come out, like, yeah, right, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if there's someone on chocolate that has, like, that's a girl video, but if there's someone with chocolate that has, like, a really, like, you know, ch all the chocolate writers will have their parts in. Yeah. So they've always been, like, you know, 50-50. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, the next one's gonna be the same. There's gonna be a lot of girl chocolate and girl and chocolate riders. Uh, I think this video, like, you'll start to see like the newer generation of kids coming out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some of the older guys might not have parts, and a lot of the newer guys will be in the video. You know what I mean? And that's just—it's a natural change. It's the evolution of the company. You know what I mean? Yeah, but still, you're probably gonna have you're gonna have a full party or no? I'm, I'm going until the wheels fall off. <laughs> but you know, like in, the, in this video, you'll see dudes like you know Raven. Uh -huh. You have Vincent Alvarez. Yeah. Stevie Perez is gonna have like a standout part. Elijah Burrow. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be really good. You know what I mean? And like, of course, you're gonna have like Mark Johnson and yeah. those guys, like Kenny Anderson. Yeah, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it too. You know, and it's it's getting to the. I think next week we're gonna start doing the intros. Oh, oh. So it's getting it's getting yeah. real, you know what I mean? And like, you know, for sure, like you're gonna have a breakout part from like Corey Kennedy. Yeah. Like he's been going crazy for a long time. <laughs> Sean Malto, like one of the best yeah. there is out there. He's been killing it lately. It's gonna be really good. Yeah. And Ty's just been, he's been filming like with like, he's been using new cameras. He's been using new like, you know, contraptions, like uh -huh. having the camera sticking out of the van, <laughs> doing all types of good shit. Good shots, man. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be something new, and it's all HD, probably, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I mean, Ty is like on another level with those cameras. <laughs> it's gonna I know, be really you can good. Tell. But yeah, we're, we're we're about to take a trip to China, which is good. Like, yeah, yeah a lot of time when people like you know are at home and stuff, people get caught up in their ordinary lives. Yeah. But when you get the like a lot of the team, and you take them to a certain place, and there's nothing to do besides skate. And it's good to get out of like you know like Los Angeles and California is great for skateboarding, but you get kicked out a lot. And it's good to get to like you know yeah. Asia or Europe where they're a little bit more lenient with like letting people skate and do their thing. Yeah. But uh, don't you miss that uh, kind of. Uh, uh, chill places like the spots where you could hang out all day. Yeah. Do you have any you of have, those? Yeah, you have you have those like in Spain. You have like Moscow. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? like, These are in, the spots right now. In, right? Yeah, in every country, like yeah. they have their chill spots. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? What about LA? That, it's hard to get that kind of a spot right now. Huh? Well, you know what's funny is like in Los Angeles right now. I'd say like a lot of the chill, chiller spots are like you know becoming skate parks. Yeah. Because they're plazas, building, they're right? building so yeah. many good plazas. Like yeah. a lot of pros, they like to hang out at Stoner Park. Yeah. A lot of pros, they like to hang yeah. out at the barracks. Yeah. Like I have my skate park too. Like a lot of people like to hang out there. You yeah. Know? With Brandon, right? Yeah. And that's just like a place where people feel more relaxed to hang out with their friends mm -hmm. and like kick back, play basketball, yeah. play ping pong, yeah. and you don't deal with security or anything. Yeah. Right? Are you sure you can skate a few hours? And, and it is a double-edged sword because you know a lot of people could end up just hanging out in the skate park all day. <laughs> not going out and film, but uh, what can you do? Yeah. And it's a lot of traffic out here. Uh -huh. You probably realized in the last <laughs> couple days. This thing we built for uh, King of the Road. Uh -huh. Andrew Reynolds did a full jam tray flip off it. Oh, um, yeah. Well, he was your guest skater, right? Yeah, Andrew Reynolds was a guest skater. It was pretty funny. Uh -huh. And this right here, Mark Johnson. Did a big flip back tail completely new, covered in shaving cream. Whoa. <laughs> That's gonna be some interesting footage right there. <laughs> it was the end of the world, right? And you ended up in LA? Yeah, you ended up here. And that challenge was called the Johnson and Johnson. Where you had to get naked, <laughs> put shaving cream all over your body, and do oh, a trick. Only for him. <laughs> yeah, it was for him, but I think he did like the best one. It was pretty funny. Okay, okay. So, 
Thank you for an amazing tour. Oh yeah, thank you <laughs> for your thanks time. For, thanks for coming out. Well, yeah, it was for me. It was a special moment, really, to see all this uh, history and, and meet you. you know, it's amazing time. Thank, thank you. you very, it means a lot to us, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like they do this for a reason. They do it for you know. There's a lot of people here that work really hard, and they yeah. do it so other people can enjoy it. You know what I mean? And I yeah. think that that's. That's what makes it good for them, you know what I mean? When yeah, people respect Girl and they like the product that comes out, they like the people that come out and they like the attitude of everything over here. And I think that's what means a lot to everyone that puts in yeah. the hard work, you know what Many I mean? people love what you do. I mean, back in Poland, Girl is very big. You yeah. know, people just love it. Many friends, my, my friends, since day one when Girl started, like, watch all the videos, everything. So it's like, it's a big history. I mean. Yeah, and it's interesting because, you know, you got the skateboarders and, like, they do their thing, you know what I mean? But you got so many people inside this building that, like, create so much of the image and everything that comes out of yeah. here and try to make it a reflection of what the skateboarders are and what they believe in, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's a tough job to keep doing that, like, year after year after year, you know? But, I'm, but I think, like, like I said, uh, the, the key to that is that it's a big company, but still, you're friends, like, since yeah. the beginning. Like, Friends, the skateboarders run it. Uh, skateboard riders know each other, so it's still, you know, that's why it has this feeling. You know, I think that's, yeah. that's my opinion. No, so. it is. It's a good opinion. <laughs> it's very spot on. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Huh?